Guillaume, thanks very much for joining us. How are you seeing at the moment uh, the relationship, I suppose, between core, value add, opportunistic? Um, what's happening at the moment there in France? It's a good question. As uh, as of now, I don't see uh, any in the competition. There's no, I would say, classification of risk. And the long-term players are now assuming the risk that I would say the short-term players uh, are to assume. So in the competition now for good asset or for proper development, the lower your cost of capital is, the better it is. So I would say that opportunistic evaluate players are uh, going away from traditional real estate investment in France and potentially going elsewhere. I don't know where, maybe Italy, maybe Greece, or maybe, you know, Easter for sure. It's a good moment to be a long-term holder and uh, having a low cost of capital because uh, it's easier for you to get uh, uh, some products in the market. And um, from a value add perspective, I would say either, you know, you have to be lucky slash patient or having a really good debt partner. <laughs> and are you seeing more of the sort of, um, the institutional money playing in that kind of uh, value add space, Guillaume? Absolutely. I think, you know, the, the long term players have been, well, are the one that have been pushing the price. And uh, I think as of now, they're, you know, assuming a, a lot more of risk uh, in terms of staff. They have now, I would say, real professional staff that can handle this kind of risk. So, you know, instead of being the at the end of the chains and I would say paying the prime yield, they prefer to step ahead, you know, having a lot of premium on the yield they're getting. Assuming the risk with uh, professional staff, I would say they would be hiring from the value add players and, uh, you know, doing this uh, kind of managed to core strategy that uh, they can assume now. Really interesting to catch up as ever. Thanks very much for joining us, Guillaume. Thank you.